Hello and welcome to Shaha Computer. This is the third part of this tutorial series on automated data roster in Google Sheets. In this tutorial, we will start learning about how to create the master sheet. In the previous videos, I have shown you the demo of this template and we also learned about the setting sheet. If you have not yet seen those videos, the link is provided below in the description box. If you want to support me, you can purchase this template. The link is given below in the description box. So without wasting any more time, let's begin this tutorial. So first, hit a margin here. Then on B7, type employee names. Then type here sheet starts. Adjust the column width. Then keep this column D blank. And from E to V this cell merge this and also up to b resize this to 30 and type here duty roster for the month off and also rest of these sales as 30 resize 30 we need more 15 columns so Let's see here from L to Z, 15 column to the right is done. Now from W to 6 cells, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, merge this and then 4 cells, 1, 2, 3, 4, also merge this. Here we will create a drop down range for month. So go to data, then data validation. Click Add Rule. In the criteria, select drop down from a range, then type here equal to is underscore month list. Then click on Done. Now here you can see the drop down list. If you want to create the drop down list in different way, click here, click Advanced option, and click here Arrow. Done. Now here is only showing arrow. In January now here we will create the year list so for that again add rule then criteria from drop down range type here equal to ace underscore year list this is the name range we have created earlier in the setting sheet okay sorry here again go to advanced option and here arrow done now here select 2024 now we we'll create the date so first type on a4 here type months starts on select this four cell merge it and type here one leave two cells and type here start date select this three and merge it and here we keep three cells merged, then leave two cell, then type here end date, then again three cells merge it, select three cells, merge it, then leave two cells, then again three cells, total number of days. So type here first total days. So select these three cells, merge a single cell. So now first here we create the start date. So type here equal to date value, this cell and January and year this one. Bracket close and enter. So we got the number value of date. Now we have to format this as date. So go to format number as date and time. So here we will go to custom number format type here dd hyphen mm hyphen yyyy apply. Now you can see here the starting date now for last date equal to eo month. This is the start date comma zero then bracket close plus 
this cell minus 1 so you can see 31st so just select here click paint format and then click here now total number of days is equal to date difference bracket open start date is this one comma end date is this one comma within quotation d quotation close bracket close plus one so it's 31 now if i change this to 5 you can see the start date is 5 end date is 4 5th january 2024 4th february 2024 days is 31 if i change it to february you can see date is 29 5th february to 4th march okay now we will create the date so here on e7 type equal to this cell f4 and here we'll create the number format as format number custom number format just dd apply okay now it's 0 1 now here we'll have a formula equal to if bracket open this cell is less than this cell f4 then this cell plus one else blank bracket close and enter you see here two now drag this till 31 got it here get this formula in this cell okay now we will create a day for these dates so equal to text select this cell comma within quotation d d d quotation close bracket close and enter so we got monday now drag this till here and rotate this so over here and in this way so you got monday tuesday it is in this way and make it as center okay this one also as center okay so date is done now select this cell from here to this and merge it and make it center the middle and type here logo and do this okay now merge these cells okay done remember keep the d column blank okay now come to this side on the right hand side we create uh, the report so keep one column blank then from ak to ao select all the cell merge it and type final report okay now here we will hit the name of the shift so merge this to cell march and here also march 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 and march and now type here total day shift total day shift total after dome shift total night shift total of shift and then here keep it blank or type here add new shift now increase the width of this column so click here size and std of 30 give 75 okay and now you have to wrap this text so for that strike through and here yeah, wrap text okay and here it should be middle and center 
and this one also middle and center okay done now on the left hand side type the dates of the employees employee 1 then here in this way employee 2 3 here up to 10 i will put so now here we create a drop down list here for the sheet rotation list that is this one but we cannot use the dynamic name range to create the drop down list so for that we have to create the absolute cell reference so for that go to data name range and here type s underscore shift legend and here select this cell reference okay done now go to master sheet and select c8 to c107 and go to data data validation add rule select from a range drop down from a range and type here equal to s underscore shift legend then go to advance and click here arrow done then close this one let like us see here with the d1 d2 a1 a2 n1 o1 and o2 so we are done here now go to 108 here we will keep this row as a blank row and here we will create the total number of employees in a single day so type here total total day shift total afternoon shift total night shift total off shift and here at new shift so this last row is for this one this one is blank if you add new shift names then you can add it here so just merge all this so select all this and march horizontally done now here we have to do the total so we will do this later on now we will format all these cells so you can use the color as of your wish so let's select all these cells and here we will give some color click here then go here we will use this color then here we will put it bold and make it as white ok now here we will give another color let's first give this color and after that go here and make it lighter ok increase the font size bold ok now here also increase the font size bold sorry first give the color here color is this one here put a light color these two cells ok now select these cells give a white color and bold increase the font size ok now here select all these cells and with a right alignment and select this one as center this two as left and this one as center now select all these cells make it bold 
white and this cell as white okay now select these cells up to 107 give a color okay and this color as okay here also same this color give it a white color bold and size as 20 now if you want remove the grid line so it will look like this so now i will not hide the grid line so i will show it here in this way now our almost everything is complete now we have to use the formula to generate this roster as this video is getting longer we will cover these formulas in the next tutorial so i hope you have understood this tutorial very well but if you have any problem please write to me in the comment section i will surely help you out if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button and do not forget to share this video thanks for watching until the end see you soon in the next tutorial